Good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Michael Brown, uh, CEO and founder of Real Estate with Michael Brown. And what I wanted to talk to you today about is just a recap of 2020, where we are today, where, we, where I think this thing is trending, and um, just go over some numbers. So let's dive in. You know, in my findings, what I found was that the market had made a significant shift in the co-op and condo arena. So first, let's look at Westchester County. We'll dive right into single family homes. So single family home inventory levels are really low considering uh, 2019. And we are down 30% in inventory from November 2019 to November of this year. Uh, overall, year to date, we're down 18.6% in inventory. However, closed sales continue to outpace the inventory levels. Uh, in November alone, uh, closed sales are up 58% in single family, even though uh, the inventory for sale is down 31%. So the sales are outpacing the inventory. So if you have a single family house for sale in Westchester County, you are probably gonna get top dollar for that house right about now. And that was represented in the um, median sales price. We saw an 18.4% increase in median sales price November 19 to November 20. Year over year or last 12 months, we saw a 10% increase in median sales price. So you're going to get top dollar for your home in Westchester County today if you put your house on the market. Still means you have to price it correctly, right? Condo and co-op market, that's where I see the biggest opportunity. We saw a huge increase in, in inventory in the co-op market, particularly in November. We saw an almost 40% increase in co-ops hitting the market in November, a 16% increase in new listings, and we only saw closed sales go up 28.3%. So um, the closed sales is not staying in track with the inventory level. And we are in a supply and demand business, right? So our supply uh, has been outpacing the demand in the co-op arena, whereas in single family homes, the demand is far outpacing the supply, right? Now let's go to the Bronx, the Boogie Down. I had posted something on Instagram the other day and I looked up and said, El Bronx, I love that. So let's go on and look at single family inventory levels versus uh, co-op and condo inventory levels. So inventory for sale in the single family just in November was down 12%. And we saw a decrease in closed sales by about 9%. So pretty flat, right? We're seeing that as the inventory goes down, so does the demand, um, it seems like here in the Bronx. Inventory homes for sale, uh, we saw an increase of 6.8% year over year. Um, we saw a decrease in closed sales. And I think in the Bronx, one of the things that, that this report doesn't talk to is multifamily home sales. That probably represents a large section of the market in the Bronx. And I've saw those prices in those days on markets just go through the roof. So um, I'm going to try to dig up that data for you and present you with some really good information on, you know, what the multifamily uh, market is doing in the Bronx. Let's look at co-op and condos. Co-op condos, there's a 33% increase in co condos on the market in November. Um, and you saw a closed sales increase of only 7%. That's probably mostly Parkchester, right? There's a lot of, a lot of stuff for sale in Parkchester. Uh, Co-ops for sale, we saw an increase of 15.8% from November 2019 to November 2020. Um, and we saw a closed sales increase of 25.8%. So the closed sales was keeping in line with the inventory increase in November. However, when we look at the last 12 months, we saw a 14.3% 14 14 increase in co-ops inventory, and we saw a negative 26.5% uh, decrease in the amount of closed co-ops. So I think that is where your biggest opportunity is, uh, the co-op business. You're gonna see um, some price adjustments happening there. Uh, if you have any more questions about the market or where, you, where it's going or what this means to you, give me a call. You can reach me here on my cell, 718-541-6149. Once again, that's 718-541-6149. You can also email me at brown, that's like the color, and like Michael, at kw.com. Be sure to get you any data or any information that you think would be useful for you to make an informed decision. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And happy holidays to all of you.